<laughs> Despite a ceasefire in Ethiopia's Tigray region since November, providing medical aid in the area remains a struggle, says the International Committee of the Red Cross. Improved security has allowed aid to reach areas that had been left inaccessible by the two-year war between the federal government and forces led by the Tigray People's Liberation Front. But medical services have been hit hard by destruction of hospitals and looting of ambulances. Gebremed Mbare, a nurse and acting manager at Tigray's Shiraro Primary Healthcare Centre, says much of the facility was damaged beyond repair. All equipment inside the laboratory was destroyed and the staff were badly affected. After the shelling, the staff ran away. There have been no health services since the shelling and we have only just restarted operating now. At the Yachilla Primary Hospital, located in a part of central Tigray that saw intense fighting, the walls are riddled with bullet holes and supplies are short. Its CEO, Dr. Eri Asifa, says looting and damage has cost more than 90 million beer, about $1.7 million. So we are already managing only in thing to, to give what we have on our hand only. But uh, that, it's not enough uh, because uh, seeing patient is that he can't able to treat, treat him, but dying on the hand is it's very painful. The ICRC said the Ethiopian Red Cross Society has not yet fully resumed services across Tigray. Of 250 ambulances it operated in Tigray before the conflict, only 82 remain, and many of those are not active. Ethiopia's health minister, the national security advisor to the prime minister, and a spokesperson for the Tigray forces did not immediately respond to requests for comment on the humanitarian situation.